Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are going to be creating conversion tables for length, width, capacity, weight, and all that sort of stuff. So the idea is uh, students are going to not have to memorize this uh, like a conversion factor, 12 inches in one foot. But the idea is we're going to give that to them, and then they're going to create a table, kind of like a lookup table. And, um, and, and the idea is this is actually going to lead towards um, sixth grade ratios and proportions, which is actually kind of cool. So let's get started on this. So the directions say complete the tables and the idea is we see yards and feet in this case and we're supposed to uh, fill in the number of feet for each of these given number of yards so one yard is and of course that answer is three oops three feet which means two yards is six feet which means three yards is nine feet and the idea is we're supposed to recognize hmm you take the number of yards and times by three, and that's going to give us the feet. So two times three is six, three times three is nine. So what is what are we going to do right here? Now, a lot of kids are going to want to just say three, six, nine, twelve. A lot of students are going to want to just say twelve. But no, we know that it's actually going to be times three, which is 15. So we actually know it's 15. And then, of course, down here is going to be uh, 30. Uh, because we can see that 10 times 3 is 30. And going over here, uh, the conversion factors. I'm going to just get you started. Uh, 12 inches in one foot, so that means 2 feet is going to be 24 inches. And what's our conversion? It's We're multiplying by 12 in each of these cases. And then way over here, yards to inches. Well, the idea is we know that there are 36 inches in a yard. Now, how do we know that? We could put it together. We know that one yard is three feet. So if I wanted to, I could say, well, here's one yard, and that one yard is three feet. One foot, one foot, one foot. And we know that each of these is cut into 12 inches. 12 inches and 12 inches so one whole yard so if this whole thing is one yard that whole thing let's see is one yard that we we see that oh that's equal to 36 inches because 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36 pretty straightforward well that means our conversion factor our multiplication is going to be times 36. So 3, here's a heads up, 3 times 36. So that's going to be 108. 108. So now we can use those conversion tables from the previous slide to answer any of these questions. For example, let's take a look at this one. So this says 2 yards and 2 inches, and we're supposed to convert it into inches. Well, so 2 yards and I'm going to draw the picture even though we don't have to. So here's one yard, here's another yard, plus two little inches, all right? And, and <laughs> this is just representing inches. Inches are not <laughs> necessarily round like that. I just wanted to indicate. Okay, so two yards, two inches. Well, each of these yards is 36 inches. So there's 36 inches, here's 36 inches, plus we have two more inches. So all we have to do is add 36 plus 36 plus 2, so that's 74 inches. So we know that 74 inches goes right there. Oh, let's say, um, let's do this one. Oh, no, let's do this one, F. So 11 yards, 1 foot. So, and we want to convert it into feet. So we have 11 yards. Well, 11 yards, and I'm not going to draw it, but I'm going to say we got 11 yards right here. So this is 11 yards. And if we want to know how many feet that is, we're going to multiply by 3. 
And so 11 times 3 is 33. So that gives us, this is 33 feet, but we've got 11 yards plus one more foot, plus one more foot. So how many feet do we have all together in 11 yards plus one foot? Well, the answer is 34 feet. So here we've got uh, Allie, good old Allie, and she has a piece of string that is six yards, two feet long. How many inches of string does she have? So we've got yards and feet, but we want to know about inches. Yards and feet, yards and feet, but we want to know inches, all right? So if we wanted to, we could draw a picture, and the picture might look like Okay, one yard, two yards, three yards, four yards, five yards, six yards, and then two feet. And we know it takes three feet to make a yard, so I'm going to kind of just like indicate this by circles again. So we've got our six yards, six yards, and two feet. Now, if we want to know how many inches we have. Well, our lookup table says we've got 36 inches right here. 36 here, 36 here, 36, 36, 36. And then in each of these feet, we have 12 inches. So what do we have all together? All together, we have 6 times 36 plus we have to add in 2 times 12. 6 times 36 is how many inches we have from the yards. 2 times 12 is how many inches we have from the feet. So what what is 6 times 36? Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to do it in my head. Uh, 6, 3, 18, 2, 216 plus 24. And so that gives us 230, 240. So that gives us 240 inches in this huge length right there. This is just another lookup table, uh, but it's pounds and ounces. Students might be a little less uh, comfortable with the concept of pounds and ounces. So the, the big conversion that I'll, I'll let us all know is that one pound is equal to 16 ounces, which means two pounds is 32 ounces. So what is our conversion? Well, it's 16 times 16. So two pounds times 16 gives us 32. So down here, 4 times 16 gives us 64. And we could just keep going. Uh, 10 times 16, that's really easy. We could do that in our head. All we have to do is stick on a zero, right? Because we learned that trick a long time ago. Now, here's a nice one. Here's a kind of a cool idea, 12. Well, we know we're going to do 12 times 16. That's one way. But another way we could do it is, well... I know that 12 is 10 plus 2. And so 10 is 160 uh, ounces, and 2 pounds is 32 ounces. So I could do 160 plus 32 and get my answer of 192. Now that's my answer. Now. And I did it by adding 10 and 2 gives us 12. So that means 160 plus 32 gives me 192. Now, if I really wanted to, I could check. I can multiply 12 times 16, and heck, let's do it. So we've got 2 times 6 is 12. And then 2 times 1 is um, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So we got 30, and then I'm going to put that 0, and now we're going to multiply by this 1, this 10, so 10 times 6, 10 times 10, and so that's going to give us um, 6 and 1. Add those together, you get 192, and that's exactly, oops, right there, exactly what we knew. 
So here it says Renee's sister, uh, baby sister, weighs seven pounds, two ounces. How many ounces does her sister weigh? So we've just in the previous slide learned that to turn pounds, seven pounds, into ounces, you're going to do 7 times 16, which equals 112 ounces. And then we have an additional 2 ounces. So 7 pounds, 2 ounces is going to be 112 plus an extra 2, which gives us 114 ounces. And so that is our answer right there. And we know that because of our previous slide where we had that conversion factor. Each pound is 16 ounces. So 7 times 16 plus an extra 2. And that wraps up a fun one. Fourth grade, module 7, lesson 1, creating conversion tables.